Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some mono black zombies. This is a, a pretty competitive deck and it's a fun deck to play where we are just trying to attack our opponent a bunch with our aggressive zombie creatures and finish games out with the help of Liliana Untouched by Death. This is really the most important card in the deck. This is what our deck is built around. Uh, the plus ability, you know, usually hits a zombie, doesn't always. But every time that you mill over a zombie, you make them lose two and you gain two. And that's a really good reach for our aggro deck. So our opponent can stabilize, they can wrath our board. Uh, but if we just have this Liliana out ticking up, we are finishing them off with that. The minus two ability is the one that you use the least, but sometimes you need to remove a blocker in a stalled battlefield, and Liliana can help do that. But then also the minus three is another good one, that if you tick up a couple of times, fill your graveyard, untap, have a good amount of mana, then you get to minus three and uh, bring a bunch of zombies back if you need another army. One thing that's really... Like, another strong thing in this deck is the discard spells. Drillbit has been a really impressive card in the main deck. We have four of them here, which a lot of the times they cost one mana also. So we basically have like the 16 one drops. And then against control decks in the sideboard, we have four duress. So having four drill bits and four duresses usually can help pick apart the opponent's hand while you're just getting your chip shots in with these two power creatures and so on and just and basically disrupt them enough to finish the job. We also have Creeping Chills in here, which have been surprisingly good for us at, again, giving us some more reach. We can mill them over for free with the help of Liliana or Stitcher Supplier. Or sometimes you're just paying four mana and you're just hard casting them, just dealing three and gaining three. Uh, it can help win races and aggro matches and everything like that. So control decks are really what we want to play against, how we have our aggressive creatures and discard spells. That's, that's what we want to play against our control decks. Um, other aggro decks, especially like red aggro decks with like Chain Whirler, not so much. That's, they're going to be faster than us, um, and we don't have a whole lot of removal and interaction. You can see how we have like the four cast outs in the sideboard. That's an important sideboard card for us. Same with some Necrotic Wounds as well for those kind of matchups. But hopefully our opponents are playing a lot of spells, and we can make them discard the key spells, attack them, and finish games off there. So mono black zombies, let's give this a try. Yeah, Liliana is our, our most important card. It's, it's the card that we want to play on turn four basically all the time. Yeah, this deck's pretty budget friendly. There we go, that's good. I forgot to switch from Dovin Bond over to Liliana. As I'm just now noticing. So, love having Liliana to be able to play on turn four. Not having any of our one drops is, you know, not, not great, but. We're not mulliganing this hand that has still a, a solid curve starting at turn two. Phoenix is kind of tough for us. We don't have any exile removal in the main deck. We do have necrotic wounds um, in the sideboard. Yeah, that could have happened. Opponent queued with the wrong deck. That could have happened.
Oh, yeah, we have two Vrasis Contempts. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, y'all are right. We have two Contempts. That was not the time that I wanted to draw Creeping Chill. Get some more stuff out here. Since Liliana's not too safe right now. Having fun with Esper Legends? Awesome. Yeah, I like that deck. We've had it we've had a lot of success with that deck recently too. Last few times playing it. All right, so I have two zombies right now, so I, ca I can Liliana minus two and kill the Phoenix, which I think this is going to be my play. It is going to be annoying if they get their Phoenixes only back here. I am free of death. But they only have three cards in hand. You know, they're drawing a fourth. This isn't over. Hopefully they don't have a bunch of spells. didn't work out I'm done here yeah we've played some Jeskai Legends decks um, yeah featuring like Wrath Compassion and the and the angels just trying to flash in angels well that really didn't work out And neither has drawing nine lands. We're playing 22 in the deck. Nine is a lot. Hmm. So Necrotic Wounds. And... I think I'm supposed to play the Cast Downs. For the Crackling Drakes. So Stitcher Supplier is like my weakest card, but taking out Stitcher Supplier does mean that it's harder to turn on Necrotic Wound. Oh, well, I'm going to take those out and the Creeping Chills. I'm going to play a couple Duresses. Also. So do you think Chill would be too broken if it didn't exile after casting from the library? I don't think so, because what would it really do in the graveyard? It, you would be able to, like... Uh, recast it again with mission briefing. That would cost six mana. All right, 
Come on, draw a three drop, please. I'll take it. And this time I'm going to be playing Liliana and ticking up right away. Oh, cool. My opponent's a, an, a streamer from Brazil. Cool. I go, Liliana, go. Moral flexibility. All right, got over, milled over two zombies, so we got the trigger, plus turning on this necrotic wound. That's a good mill. And keep on going, Liliana. Yeah, you can. They can have a bunch of creature removal, but we can just keep on doing damage with Liliana. Don't get squeamish on me. There's a zombie, and we have the combo of pick up gutter bones as well. It's a good combo. Mill over our gutter bones, deal two, which means we get to pick it up. Every problem has a solution. Right, so that's gonna have to get contempted. Start by taking you out of the equation. <laughs> I have a There's another two. Morbid idea. Down to ten. Win some, lose some. And if we if we run out of stuff to do, which we haven't yet, but if we do, then then we can minus three Liliana and um, cast some more creatures out of the graveyard. Person's trash is There's another a zombie down to eight. Army. I think I want to drill bit here over playing Diagraph Ghoul. Sorry, Diagraph Ghoul. Let's take that crack crackling Drake. And yeah, so y'all saw how Liliana just took over that game. It's a good card. It's a very good card. I could maybe even see playing a Bloodfast. playing a, a blood fast hmm. good draw fills out the curve well This is trouble. This is trouble. Ooh. 
not as much trouble as I thought. Go, Liliana, go. Let's have well, they aren't useful to me alive. They can play a new Phoenix and attack Liliana, but then I have the necrotic wound for it. <laughs> that was a cheap Ugh. shot. <laughs> Wait till you see what I've got planned for you. So we can minus three next turn, but that will kill our Liliana, but we could get back um, Graveyard Marshal plus Midnight Reaper plus Diagraph Ghoul. So we could get three creatures. Hey Zed, good evening. All right, well, that's worst case scenario. Phoenix comes back, and we dead. Hey, what's up, Boop? Ah, oh, there's a second Phoenix in there, too, now. Did the discoveries. Must put another one in there. Oh, you won. Good for you. So we did mill over a Contempt, unfortunately. So we have one Necrotic Wound and one Contempt left for these things. I mean, I'm just, I'm just really dead. It's like none of my creatures are good draws anymore. It's like I have to draw a Necrotic Wound and Wrath's Contempt, and I only have two of those. I only have one of each in my deck, and I have to draw both of those. Because like any creatures I draw are like super dead. If I draw Liliana, it's gonna, it just dies also. You can kneel if you open the graves. So I'll get this Midnight Reaper out of here, out here, like where we can draw another card with it. Light Phoenix is a heck of a card. I'll actually try next time. Uh, 
Heck of a card. Yeah, control looks control does look really good. Looks like you know, control control does get a whole lot of things in uh the next sets. It's kind of weird how like the anti-control cards you're saying like Dobin's Veto, Teferi, like the anti-control things are just oh man, I'm going to lose against this Dobin. This is my avatar. The anti-control things are just cards for control. You know, like that the new Teferi doesn't really do very much in aggro. Hmm. Yeah, see Narset's reversal. I'm not. I'm not very high on Nar Narset's reversal. Oh, I mean, yeah, like mid, mid range and control are, are both going to be really good. It aggro is getting the the least amount. It it seems like for for now. There's a whole lot of just like gain life cards just kind of randomly in places, like Oath of Kaya, for example is awesome, but then there's just other, like there's a lot of gain three stapled onto cards in the set. Okay. I like any of these getting tribunaled. I guess I wasn't supposed to attack there that last turn, but it got tribunaled anyway. Understand you are in need of support. Look how far you come. This is not not a good league for us here. Mono Blue is not going to be playing Reversal. If that's what you're saying. Alright, so we got a couple of Ritual sets in our uh, sideboard for this kind of thing. So we got all these Ritual sets, Cast Downs, Necrotic Wounds. Death Baron is like our really important card, giving our creatures death touch. That's our important one. I think I still want all of my creatures and everything, so I guess I'm gonna, and I, I think I do want a Stitcher Supplier because that, that can be a Death Touch creature with Death Baron. Death Baron's going to be an important card for us to get. Here. Which card is Prison Realm? Here. 
They're saying you think it would be possible to make a decent Azorius aggro deck with Prism, Realm, and Dovin Veto. We got the Death Baron, which is clutch. Okay, milled over three lands. That's a that's a really good mill over for a supplier. Just get rid of those. All right, not the double lean in Vanguard this time. Uh, two and a white when it ETBs. Oh, it's the O-Ring. Exile a creature or Planeswalker until it leaves the battlefield. Gotcha. Into the grave with you. Those are some good cards we just put over there. We did put a uh, Death Baron over here where we can cast Death Baron next turn if we would like. Radiant Destiny? I was not expecting that. Oh, did that hurt? I'll just do this and this and because that's lethal. <laughs> Cat tribal. Cat tribal. Our guy's missing it. He's laying down back there. As you can, uh, you can see him back there. Well, this is a curve. May like. I don't know if this curve's good enough to win. Ooh, that helps this curve. Oh man, three removal spells? I want those removal spells. I liked when we milled over the three lands more. Bugler? They didn't hit anything with Bugler? How didn't they hit anything with Bugler with their Radiant Destiny cat deck? Healer's Hawks are annoying. So Liliana goes to five loyalty. Oh, let's get these two in play first. Mm. This primate's gonna be really growing. This minus two 
Uh, gives Moss X minus X or the number of zombies you control. Gutter Bones, remember, is not a zombie. It's a skeleton. So we could give, like, minus three right now. So up to five, down to three, up to four, down to two. Or go to two to kill a healer's hawk, down to one, and then up to two, down to one, up to two, down to one. Basically just never dies. Immortality is worth any. So sorry to give you a fright. No, Johnny. No, Johnny. No, Johnny. Don't get cocky. Okay, that's good. We got a backup Liliana. That's good. <laughs> Wait till you see what I've got planned for you. That's good. So plan right now is to put a bunch of creatures in the graveyard. Right now we only have the two, but the plan is to put a bunch in there and then play new Liliana minus three, be able to cast a, a bunch of them, you know, using this Cabal Stronghold for a lot of mana. So that's that's the plan right now. Don't get squeamish on me. All right, we got three over there now. We are making them lose two life a turn. They're making us lose two life a turn, or like they're gaining two life a turn. Sorry. So we're not doing any. We're not dealing any damage to them. We're just kind of milling ourselves out right now. Okay, well, let's kill these two big things. Wipe that smug look off your face. Seven creatures over there now. How much mana do we have? So we'd have one, two, so we'd still have five mana. I've conquered death as I will conquer you. All right, now Graveyard Marshal can exile creatures also and make uh, more zombie tokens. Yeah, they have, yep, and they have Death Touch. So yeah, our, our creatures are chilling over here with Death Touch, which is pretty cool. The kind of one thing I'm worried about is milling myself out. Like, I didn't want to grab, oh, um, I didn't really want to grab the Stitcher suppliers, even though they would have made really good blockers right there. Why 
What is more into the grave with you? The problem with Sit plus Lily, the, the war leader doesn't die to this Sit. It's possible I should just try to kill the war leader with, with Liliana. Yeah, I could, could have minus there. All right, so I definitely want to kill this thing. And then we just kill, kill that, kill that, kill that. All right, taking some damage, but I think we got this overzealous attack. Just gonna kill this annoying healer's hawk. Oh, they're overwhelming, aren't they? They said good game. So I did too. That's a cool card. I always thought this card was going to be better in Guilds of Ravnica Limited than what it was. Like, every time I draft it, I'm like, sweet, I have this Light of the Legion, and then it just, like, I don't know, wasn't, wasn't super impressive. How are they attacking with all these things? That doesn't really matter, they're dead. Kill one of the one of their blockers. Ugh, this was boring anyway. All right, and we are two and one. Demir, Zombie, Liliana, Self, Mill deck could work. We do have one of those, but not exactly probably what you're thinking. We do have a, a combo. Uh, Demir, Zombie, Mill deck with Liliana. It's, it's just a combo deck. It is pretty fun. Where's my Demir, Zombie, Mill? I'm going to change my avatar here, too. Demir Zombie Mill. Where's it at? Ah, oh, there it is. So we have the Liliana plus Arcane adap like Adaptation to make all your creatures zombies. Liliana minus three, so you can cast your zombies from your graveyard. So you can cast all your creatures from your graveyard. And then you play the Diligent Excavator. So every time you play your Historic Spell, target player mills two cards. And then you just play this historic spell for zero. And you cast it for zero, they mill two, it dies, it's back in your graveyard, you can still cast it. So you cast it for zero again and mill them for two more, and it dies, and you rinse and repeat, and you just inf infi mill them. That's a fun deck. All right, change avatar. Liliana, where are you at? Ooh, I love what they've done with the place.
Yes. Uh, Arena has all the cards in standard that paper has, yes. All right, reasonable hand here. Ooh, reasonable hand got, got better. Soul tie, no. We want Esper control. Where's our Esper control? Oh, it's at. Will I... Wildgrowth Walker and Jade Light are both pretty great. I kind of want to take Jade Light. Is that too greedy? Jade Light's just a lot better on its own than Wildgrowth is on its own. <laughs> I, just, I can't really be beat this hand. Uh... Like, I take Jade Light, they just flood out. That's a plan. That's my plan to win. Okay, they drew, drew a land, that's good. They're just gonna flood out. No explore creatures. Is that thing? What the heck is that thing? Well, so much for them not being able to find an explore creature. They just have exactly five mana. It's like the best five mana card in the, the entire format. <laughs> they just paid two life and surveilled and were like, yeah, those cards are great. Ugh. What if we actually kill our opponent with these creeping chills? All right, mill over two creeping chills. Double chill, double chill. No chills. Come on, no, no explore creature. No explore creature, just removal. Oh man, no explore creature. Don't do it, don't do it. Just removal spell, play like a Vivian. Vivian, no! Oh, we were so close. Why couldn't you play that last turn? No. Oh, we were so close. Bleh. We can still just draw another Creeping Chill or a Liliana that like hits a Creeping Chill. Or 
or a supplier that mills over a creeping chill. Every fight makes me strong. The wilds are my shield. All right, those are our options. Chill, Liliana, or supplier. Come on, chill. Chill! Ugh, dang. Yeah, now we're taking lethal. Well, I guess I should have taken Wild Growth Walker because they are they already have like their perfect card on top. <sighs> so if we bring in cast downs. Usually this is where we need to ritual set away all their things. Now we were so close. Hmm. Don't really know what I want to take out. Could just not play drill bit. Hey, six one nine. I'm worried about like not actually having creatures in the graveyard for necrotic wounds. Ah, the old two drop into three drop into ritual of set combo. That's a good curve. Yeah, I removed the black undergrowth tutor from the sideboard. Just it's just not really a card I I think I really wanted to put in. It was basically like it was basically in the deck to uh, try to find another Liliana against control. No. Don't get free lands. They did not hit a land drop, and yet they kept cast down. No, stop getting free lands. Ugh. Stop getting free lands. We need to draw Liliana untouched by death. Liliana's like the only card that can provide the card advantage to have us be able to keep up. All right. That's good. Care 
to meet my kill. Go, Deck, go. No, don't contempt to Liliana. Don't do it. They have find finality. I value moral flexibility. I think I'm just going to turn this gutter bones into a zombie here. Please don't attack. Man, they still have four cards. <laughs> I have a deliciously morbid idea. Wow. So we've seen 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We've seen 12 lands so far. We don't have... Where we have the one zombie in the graveyard right now. Unfortunately, we milled over the Cabal Stronghold. That would have been a really good land to have right now with these other eight. Why why don't you just do that pre-combat? And then kill my Liliana. That probably makes sense. One person's trash is another woman's army. be dead. This is our worst matchup, as you can tell. This is not too close with the, the hands our opponents have had to. I mean, the, that, that other game was really close. The first game was really close. The others can deal with you. So our deck, like I mentioned before, whenever we were starting the deck, what we really want to play against the spell heavy decks, the removal heavy decks. Um, you know, we've had leagues where we've played against three or four Asper Controls and been able to just go through all those and, and beat those decks each time. The If Sultai has a hand like that, we're just not, you know, we're not really beating Sultai how they had that second game. Because we even cast, we'd killed three creatures with each with two Ritual of Soots, and they still had way more cards than we did. <laughs> 
To be fair, we had eight lands, though. I guess that's, that's like, not a, a good recipe for us to win is just sitting on eight lands, you know, hitting our, our eighth land drop uh, when we have 22. You yeah, know, that's, you know, if we four of those lands were four spells, that probably would have been helpful, but I don't think we're still winning that either way. Um, but, yeah, the, the spell-heavy decks, they... They struggle with, like, the recursion we can have with Gutter Bones, the card advantage with Midnight Reaper, getting creatures back with Liliana. All the while, we have the drill bits and duresses. That's really kind of like what our deck deck is built to beat. Um, yeah, we're just going to really struggle with, you know, all those Explore creatures and Wild Growth Walker and all the Crasises and find finalities to get them back and keep on replaying them. We're just not going to really... We don't have the power. You know, like, our cards are just so underpowered compared to that. Um, I No, Drillbit is, is awesome in this deck. This deck should not cut cut back on Drillbit at all. Drillbit is, is a really important piece to this deck. Bloodfast. Like, maybe I'm supposed to just bring in Bloodfast there with the Ritual of Sits. Honestly. I could see that. I don't know. Argyle's Bloodfast just kind of disappointing a lot of the time. Like that specific game, we had a lot of mana. We could have used an Argyle's Bloodfast, but there's so we're a 22 land deck. There's so many games where where we don't. We have two lands, three lands, four lands, and we can't just like sit back and spend the entire turn activating Bloodfast. It's basically only good whenever you flood out. Whenever you flood out, though, it's it's really nice. So it's like. There's times it can do stuff, there's times it doesn't. It's also really vulnerable. There's a lot of enchantment removal spells in the format. I don't know. Our sideboard is just not very good. That's that's the big problem with our deck. Our deck is really good against control, like I said. And, you know, Duresses is awesome with the drill bits. Like, our, like we're really good there. But we just don't have... We don't have, like, powerful cards in our sideboard, really. We have, like, some removal spells we don't have cards that go over the top. You know, we don't have, we don't have any way to beat like Hydroid Crisis. That just goes way over the top of us and that kind of stuff. But yeah, Thought Seize is really good and that's what Drill Bit is. Um, yeah. Walk the Plank is okay. It, it is worse than Cast Down, but Walk the Plank is, is really not that bad. It, it's possible Walk the Plank is better than Necrotic Wound, honestly. Walk the Plank is a, is a pretty decent um, removal spell. I have another deck that's similar. So I took, I took like this kind of, uh, this kind of deck and made it where it's not just based on zombies. And that's this mono black aggro. And I've really liked this deck. It's the same kind of thing. We're still going to struggle with soul tie, but we have a little bit more power. We have Spawn of Mayhem, which can fly over and end games really quickly. You know, if like that's like a, a three drop normally. And Dreadshade is honestly a really underrated card. Because Dreadshade is basically the abyss. Like you get to the point like where you just have to chump block Dreadshade all the time. Because when you play it on turn three, on turn four you just get to attack with Dreadshade. And if they block, you make it a seven seven. But they're not gonna, you know, like they're not gonna just chump block right away. So you just, you know, get in for three and then cast your other stuff. So it's it's kind of like un, it's basically like unblockable in the early game because you don't want to just like throw your creatures away. And then later on, it just tur then after a couple hits, then it's suddenly like, oh man, that dread change is just gonna kill me. It's gonna be lethal. And so you have to block that. Then we have like the Dire Fleet Poisoners in here. This is this could be Graveyard Marshal also. I was trying this card out and I was actually pretty pretty happy with it. You know, just gets to tr just gets to trade with Wild Growth Walker and surprise trade. Uh, I know like there was one game where my opponent had a Chupacabra that I knew about from Drill Bit, and they were like attacking him with creatures and and like if I if I had if I just played any blocker, they were gonna like Chupacabra kill it and then kill me. But so I needed like this flash blocker and it was actually pretty good. It also it's easy to get in get in with the poisoner and have it not be blocked to turn on your spectacle to be able to play like the spawn of mayhem the next turn or like the or drill bit um
And then I, I do have a couple Walk the Planks over in this deck, and we have Cast Downs in the main deck. So this is another another option if you want to not go with just full-on Zombies. This is another option in it, and I like this deck. This is a good one. I, I'd like to play this deck one more time before... Uh, before next week, whenever War of the Spark comes out on Arena, we'll be playing that. So I'll probably play this this deck one more time before that format. Um, but not tonight. Tonight we are going to be playing Esper Duplicate here in a little bit. But that was just Mono Black Zombies. We went, uh, I guess we really went one and two. We didn't actually play the first round, so one and two with Mono Black Zombies. All right, so if you're watching that video later on on YouTube, thanks for watching, um, and I will hopefully see you for another video.